Hello everyone and welcome back. In the last episode we created a small rectangle and displayed that on our canvas. And in this episode we will create a vector class and some more basic drawing utilities um, to do some, well, to do easier drawing, let's say. Okay, um, then let's jump back to Visual Studio. And here I'm first going to create a new vector class vector dot vector two dot js there we go and here i'm gonna say um class vector two this vector two will have a <coughs> sorry this vector two will have a constructor and um with the x and y component and I'm also setting this X and Y here. There we go. Then we have some methods. Um, the first one will be normalize. Well, actually, I'm going to write them down now. Then I'm going to fill it after. Get normal, then we have a dot function and a log function and also a static function um, which is called zero and this one will return a new vector two, so a zero vector. All right, the log function will have a console.log with vector two Oh, vector two. No. Ah, come on. Vector two. There we go. And the X component and the Y component. Then the dot function. Um, this one will have a vector. Here we return the Y, uh, the X times the vec dot x plus this dot y plus vec dot y. In the get normal function we return a perpendicular normal to this vector. This will be this dot y and this dot x, though it's going to be a minus x. And in the length function we return of course the length. So Math dot square root. And this will be this dot x um, times less dot x plus less dot y times this dot y. All right, and then in the normalized function, uh, we're gonna retrieve the length. So list dot length. Right, then we're gonna divide our components. X divided by length and y, di uh, y divided by length. There we go. And here you can see um, our, our, no uh, our vector should not get zero. And if so, we're gonna run into a problem. Um, but I don't think uh, a vector will be zero, at least in this tutorial series. Maybe. Um, Okay, then we need to add some global functions. The first one will be add, which will get a vector A and a vector B. Then we have a function called sub for subtract. This one also will have a vector A and a vector B. And then we have a function uh, scale. This one also will have a vector a, well, not a vector a, but a vector and a scalar value as a parameter. Okay. In Let's start with the scalar, uh, uh, sorry, with the scale function. Here we're going to return a new vector. And uh, we're going to scale the x and the y value with the scalar value. 
There we go. Then in the sub function, we return also a new vector. And this time it will be vec a dot x minus vec b dot x and vec a dot y minus vec b dot y. Okay, and the same thing for the add function, but with a plus sign. So actually, I think I can just copy this one. Paste it in there. Change, the, change it to a plus sign. And there we go. That's our vector class. Seems right, I guess. Yeah, I think we're going to notice anyway if I made a mistake. Um... Yeah, let's jump to the main HTML because I want to change something there and that's right here. I want to pass in a vector instead of just X components. So I'm going to say a new vector. I'm going to copy this one and paste it in there. All right, then of course I need to add that script too. And this one will be vector 2 that it has. Okay, and then we have, I think, everything in our main HTML. And now we are creating another class, which is called draw utils. Draw utils.js. And in this class, there will be only static methods just for drawing stuff. Okay, so draw utils, then we have first a draw point method which will get a position a radius and a color i'm gonna fill this later at the end or when i wrote every method down um, then we have a stroke point method which will just draw a circle uh, without a fill color and there we go a color then we have a normal draw line method, which will have a start position, a end position, a color, and a line thickness of 1, a default parameter. Then we have also a oops, static common static a draw rect function which will get a start well yeah a start um, a size and a color the start is the position of the top left corner of a rectangle and then we have the draw text method there we go, which will also have a position. If I could write position right, position, then a size, a color, and the actual text. Okay, then I'm gonna start with the draw text method. Here we get a CTX. CTX, the canvas context, is already declared there as a global, so we have access, uh, X, uh, access to it to it <laughs> yeah and then i'm gonna say begin path then cdx dot stroke style oh sorry uh no 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 i'm i'm conf i confused there's something um well anyways ctx node css matrix thank you ctx font that's what i wanted to do this will be um a concatenation of size and pixel and aerial then we have a uh, fill style this will be the color and then we have a fill text text method with the text, the position, 
and that's it. All right, this is our draw text method. Then let's go to the draw rect. Pretty similar um, again um, with the begin path. What I confused and the other method. So then we need to now we need to say stroke style, which will be the color. Then we have the actual rectangle. Here we can here we draw the, the rectangle with the start.x, start.y, um, size.x and size size.y. Okay, then we say cdx.stroke and cdx.close path. Okay, and now we can luckily copy some things here. Um, I need to remove, of course, this one. And that's it, yeah. And here, before the, uh, well, or below the begin path, I'm going to say cdx.line uh, width is the line the line thickness, and then I'm moving, um, I guess the position to the start position at x and start position at y. Then I'm gonna say, let's create a line to our end position x and end position y. And then I say the, the stroke style, I set the color of the line, and then I'm going to say stroke, and I'm going to reset our line width to one again. All right, then I can copy this one again, paste it in here. Um, I can, I can remove the line, this one, this one, uh, the line width. Yeah, I don't need this one. Um, stroke, stroke, start, begin path. Here I'm just saying cdx.arc at the position x and position position dot y. Then of course we have a radius. This one will be zero start angle. The end angle will be math dot i times two. Counterclockwise, I guess that's, uh, yeah, let's say true. Doesn't matter really, I guess. Okay, and then we have the draw point, and I think that's almost the same like uh, draw a stroke point, except here we have a fill style. So no stroke style, we have a fill style, and except. Uh, instead of stroke, we will say fill. And that's it. Oh, I misspelled this one, the position. Okay, this looks good. Um, just let me check if I did everything right. Seems like. Okay, and then I guess we can test that a little bit. I'm just gonna say here. Oh yeah, uh, we need to add this class to our main HTML. So draw utils. And here I'm gonna say um, draw utils dot draw line first. At uh, actually here we can say we can uh, we can use our fancy function of vector dot zero. And I'm saying do position let's say 100 100 with a color of black um a line thickness of 10. okay and let's save go back to the browser we'll refresh and there we go we have our uh, black line cool i think that rectangle is still from our simulation class so i'm gonna remove that I'm here in the simulation. I'm just going to remove this one. There we go. And then we can add some 
well we can add the other uh, draw utils function too so draw utils draw point this will be at the vector 100 uh, at position 100 100 uh, with a radius of 20 and a color of let's say blue and then I'm gonna add the other functions too so draw uh, uh, yeah stroke point what's it called at position also at position 100 100 with a radius of 20 a color of red then I'm gonna draw a rectangle draw a rectangle new vector 2 200 oh yeah 200 and 200 a size of um let's say 100 100 with the color of green and then the last one is draw text and this one i'm gonna say this will be at position 300 300 with a size of 20 a color of uh, let's say white and a text of hello world and there we go so let's save jump back to the browser and refresh and well that looks pretty good i guess i didn't make any mistake except the text the text is not working because i misspelled something all right then um well i have a typo in there uh, let's go to the visual studio again and find our draw text method and yeah all right i uh wrote the position wrong all right then go back to browser refresh and there we go there's our text all right um yeah that's everything for this episode um in the next episode we will um we will well i'm gonna show you how the algorithm is working for the fluid simulation the basic algorithm um when we or if we implemented this one we have our basic really yeah, well, we have our basic fluid simulation with all viscosity and uh, plasticity, but um, first we need to do some other things like searching for particle neighbors and so on. So the next episode will be a little a presentation how the algorithm algorithm actually works, and uh, yeah. So all right then, um, I guess see you in the next one episode. Uh, see you in the next episode. <laughs> bye bye.